Thank you for joining me today. Before we get started, I want to take a minute to tell you about a new app called Get Upside that we at the Rideshare Guy have been using to save up to 25 cents per gallon on gas. Pretty awesome. The app is completely free to use. All you have to do is upload your receipt after you buy gas and then cash gets added to your account. The cash adds up over time and you can deposit your funds straight to your PayPal account whenever you want. Some drivers are using GetUpside to save $50 per week just buying gas from their favorite gas stations. So now listen closely because this deal gets even better. I'm going to give you a short code that'll get you an additional $0.15 cents per gallon sign-up bonus. So you just download the GetUpside app from the App Store, open the app, and enter the promo code. It's WQ8JR. Now, another way you can get your $0.15 cent per gallon sign-up bonus is to visit the rideshareguide.com forward slash GetUpside app. That's G-E-T and then Upside, U-P-S-I-D-E, and then app, A-P-P. Check it out. All right, let's start the show. Welcome to the Rideshare Dojo. If you're an Uber or Lyft driver or anyone in the gig economy, this is the place for you. With tips and techniques, interviews with passengers and industry leaders, entertainment, inspiration, motivation. Here, with over 23,000 rides, is your host, Jay Crater. Let's enter the dojo. Hey, everybody. Uber drivers, Lyft drivers, Instacart drivers, Postmates, Ease, Zoom drivers, DoorDash, Via, Amazon Prime, Amazon Prime Now, Uber Eats, Grubhub, all you drivers and passengers and all of us who are part of this big, beautiful gig economy, welcome. It is so great to have you here for today's exciting episode. My name is Jay Crater. Let's enter the dojo. Hey everybody, it is Jay. Good to be with you drivers out there. Let's see, today is Wednesday the 18th. It's 7.21 in the morning. And today I'm going to talk about uh, kind of a big deal that's happening in my life. I've decided to go ahead and sue Uber and Lyft for back pay. So in this uh, podcast episode, I'm going to share with you just some of my thoughts and feelings about this process, um, why I did it, what I expect to happen as a result of it, and what it could mean uh, for, for you as well. Uh, if you've been a driver for the last uh, four years, you might want to move forward as well. So uh, an article came out yesterday um, called 600,000 Reasons Why I'm Suing Uber and Lyft. So you may not know this, but I'm the um, advertising manager for uh, the Rideshare Guy. It's a new position for me. I've been at it about a month now. So I work with Harry and we work with clients who are interested in reaching out to um, drivers, right? And we've got the number one vehicle to reach drivers. So we are approached by this uh, law firm called Potter Handy. And I spoke with this guy named Mark, Mark uh, um and he uh, kind of told me what was going on, uh, that he was looking for uh, drivers that his firm could represent. And he said he was looking for drivers who have been you know, busy the last four years because you can go retroactively back four years. So I said, well, heck, Mark, <laughs> I don't think you're going to find anyone who's driven more than me in the last four years, I've done 26,500 rides. You know, I've put in 60, 70, 80 hour weeks pretty consistently for my first three years. And um, I think I'd be an ideal candidate for your program. So I then went to uh, his website where there's uh, this uh, form called a damage calculator. And basically, I, you know, put in some rough numbers about how many hours I worked per week, you know, how much money I made, um, how much I think I spent on some different things. And at the end of this whole thing, it gives you a number. 
<clears throat> and this is your damage calculator. And when I finished my damage calculator, the number was $631,196.20. And that includes a whole bunch of different things. So what, what drivers are entitled to is uh, overtime premium pay. So that's anything over 40 hours in a week or over eight hours in a day. So virtually every day I worked more than eight hours. So my number is big because I, I put in so many hours per week. Then there's uh, non-productive time wages. So that's getting paid for when you're not actually have somebody in your car, but you're working on getting somebody in your car, right? Period one and two, as they call it. You know, getting gas, going to a Starbucks to use the bathroom or get some coffee. Then we're supposed to get reimbursed for all our mileage expenses. Um, so every mile, right? Every freaking mile, boom. Uh, meal period and rest period reimbursement. And then uh, unreimbursed business expenses, things that you would have bought for your business. So as an employee, right, if we worked, if I worked for Uber or for Lyft, these are things that I would, by law, have to get paid for. And that's what the da damage calculator does is it gives you an estimate. So I said, okay, how about we do this, Mark? I'll be your test case. Uh, let, me, let me go through the program and, um, and then we can write about my, you know, my experience. So that's the article that came out um, yesterday, which you can read. So at this point, what we've done is, uh, you know, I've signed the, uh, the agreement with them. Um, and they are now approaching Uber and Lyft to request documentation about me. And then um, what either happens is the case will, will get settled, right? So they'll just settle it, or it goes to arbitration. So it doesn't go to like to court, it goes to an arbitrator, uh, because that's the agreement that we all signed when we signed up for Uber and Lyft. At least this is all my understanding. So uh, then we you know, just wait and see. So this isn't a quick payout. This is something that could take, you know, up to over a year. Um, and I'll tell you that um, at first I was a little scared about doing this. You know, I thought, well, I'm kind of uh, wait, you know, poking the bear, as they say. I'm poking the bear. But um, I also feel like, well, Uber and Lyft have kind of been skirting the law right? Calling us all independent contractors when we're clearly not treated as independent contractors. If you're an independent contractor, I would be able to charge whatever I wanted to charge for my service. I can't, right? In fact, the rates that I've been able to charge have been cut by Uber and Lyft. Right there, that's not something an independent contractor would have to endure, but we do as drivers. That's part of the reason this whole AB5 law came into effect in, uh, in California because it's clear that we are treated more as employees than as independent contractors. And then there's all the taxes that Uber and Lyft are not paying to the states uh, because they treat us as independent contractors. So that's for, you know, just on a broader social picture, that's not good for, for us, uh, for the citizenry, um, while Uber and Lyft uh, people are making millions and millions of dollars. That's money, a lot of it. Some of it should be going towards our roads and our schools and, and things like that. So when I kind of look at the big picture, I think, okay, I'm, I'm willing to take a stand and see what happens, right? And I'm in a unique situation in that I do have this uh, ability to get, uh, to get my message out to, you know, thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people through YouTube and through the blog and, and through the podcast. So... Um, I decided to go for it. I did have some considerations. Um, first one was, you know, would I would I be deactivated? You know, would would uh, Uber and Lyft deactivate me? Would they retaliate? Which is clearly illegal. And uh, my attorney said, if they did, that would you know bolster my case. Uh, but you know, they can find any reason to deactivate a driver. So. Um, I think if I didn't have so many other irons in the fire, so many other ways to generate revenue, um, this would be a serious concern. So if you're a driver and you really need this money, um, that's something you should consider before, you know, trying what I'm trying, because uh, you want to be obviously keep 
keep making money and uh, there could be consequences there. My second consideration was how long it would take, right? So it could take up to a year, maybe even more. It's not a quick turnaround. Um, but since I never expected the money and I still don't really expect the money, um, fine, it's free money. And if it shows up, great. And if not, not. But you got to think there's a good chance of it because this law firm is taking on these clients and they're not getting any money up front. They're only getting paid a, a large percentage of the payout. So, uh, they're, you know, they think it's a good bet. And then um, my, my, my third consideration is, you know, how real is this? You know, so what I did is I took my $600,000 figure and I cut it in half right? Because in a negotiation, you're going to end up somewhere between, somewhere in the middle, right? Uber and Lyft want to pay zero. We want to collect 600000 Therefore, I, I'm saying, okay, let's settle. Say we settle at 300000 And then out of that, 40% will go to the attorneys. So 40% of three, that's 120000 goes to the attorneys, but that leaves 180000 for me. So that's kind of how I looked at it. I thought, well, for that much money, is it worth doing? Well, of course it's worth doing. That's a nice big paycheck. That's almost two years worth of work full time as a driver in San Francisco. So yeah, and 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 no expenses. It's just like boom, there it is. So we'll see. So those are my considerations. And as I said, I decided to go ahead and do it. So I am I am the uh what is it my buddy used to say? He says, We're the warriors. So we're, we're going to catch more of the arrows, but we're also going to get, get more of the gold, right? <laughs> so we'll see uh, what arrows I do, uh, I, I do get uh, shot at me and, uh, and also what kind of gold I get as a result. So those are my thoughts. Uh, it's done now, right? I've signed the agreement. The, the train has left the station, as uh, Brad Pitt uh, so eloquently said in the movie, once upon a time in, in Hollywood, the train has left the station and uh, this is happening. So I uh, wanted to share with you all, you know, sort of my thoughts, why I did it, uh, my, my, my fears about it and, and my, you know, hopeful optimism about it as well. So we'll see what happens and I'll keep you posted as this, uh, this uh, lawsuit moves forward. All right. All right. So I just want to wish you guys a happy uh, Christmas. Um, yeah, because I guess uh, next week, well, there'll still be one more podcast on Monday and then it'll be Christmas. But I think I already recorded that one. So let me just say happy holidays. I hope you have a wonderful holiday season uh, with your family. Riders, drivers, drivers out there. I love you guys. You guys are awesome. And um, looking forward to... Uh, the new year and uh, wrapping up this year. So uh, you go out and have a great one and be safe out there. Bye for now. If you're thinking about starting an online business, definitely check out my website at nomadj.com where you can get my free ebook called What's Next? How to Do Online Work You Love from Anywhere in the World. That is nomadjay.com. I also do a daily one minute per day podcast called Nomad Daily, in which I share different aspects of life. Uh, Nomad Daily with Jay Creator is available wherever you get your podcasts. People are really liking it. Check it out. You just uh, subscribe, and then every day you're just gonna it's gonna automatically load up, and you're gonna get the next episode, and you just listen for a minute to a minute and a half, and boom, you're done. And uh, it's great. I really enjoy doing that. All right, next episode, more news, interviews, all things Rideshare Dojo for drivers and all of us in the gig economy. I will do my best to bring you the best here in the dojo. This is Jay Crater saying thanks for entering the dojo every Monday and Thursday. Drive happy and be safe out there. Loved this episode of the Rideshare Dojo podcast? Head over to iTunes to subscribe, rate, and leave a review. It really helps, and it's very much appreciated. Be sure to visit RideshareDojo.com to join the conversation, access the show notes, and discover our fantastic bonus content. Thanks for listening, and be safe out there.